Hey, welcome in everybody. Welcome to Floxtrot's Hangar. I'm Floxtrot, and right above me is my in real life next door neighbor, my good friend and co host here at the hangar. You top flyer, hey tree. Oh, wait, no sound. Good evening, everyone. There we go. Check one, check two. <laughs> good evening, Flox. Looking good down there. Ditto, right back at you. <laughs> Perfect. Are ready for a fun-filled night of uh, Vat Sim. Oh wait, my watch talking to me. My watch started talking to me. I don't know what I said, but she started talking to me. Anyways, yes, uh, fun-filled or stress-filled or maybe a mixture of both. We'll see. Yes. And good evening, and uh, Epic Writer, uh, first in chat tonight, and Dylan is checking in. Hey, Dylan, right back at you. Now, my graphics don't look really good for some reason. Hopefully, mm. I don't have something going on. My my airport here doesn't look really, really good. Um, so, let me uh, get spawned in and we'll see how it goes. Jet Captain wants to be my friend. I never heard of Jet Captain before. Anybody heard of Jet Captain? Can anybody no. vouch, vouch for Jet Captain? <laughs> I have, have not heard of him. I hope he can join us. Oh, I think I got the wrong one here. That's what I want right there. Hey, DH checking in. DH uh, shared something in chat tonight on Discord I want to bring up uh, here in a moment. Evening, evening. Welcome back to the hangar. We'll always leave that hangar door cracked open for you, DH. Absolutely. Okay. Minimize that, I believe. No, I can't. Uh, there we go. Ready to fly. I think the airport looks okay. All right, let me go to live weather or live time, I should say. Real time. Evening, DH. <laughs> DH. <laughs> okay, real time. Here we go. Gotta be real on that Zoom. Gotta try to be real. Keeping it real. Something like that. All right, let's see. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? All right, so tonight... Uh, STW is on approach. So I don't know if we have a tower controller. I don't know if we have a ground controller. Um, but we'll be able to find out here in a minute. Uh, but first, I want to share something that uh, DH uh, shared on our Discord earlier. I thought this was kind of an interesting story here. So let me get this pulled up. Here we go. Under general, and it was it's this story here. Uh, DH says he's recently reached out to local flight sim enthusiasts in his area, like us, in, in order to create a local club. Interesting. Uh, so far, only a few have reached out, but one of them is using flight simulation as a training tool to acquire his uh, personal pilot license uh, or private pilot license. He shared this article that he wrote. And the game-changing benefits of flight simulators in pilot training. Um, I'm going to put that in ch that link in chat, just in case anybody wants to have a have a nice read. There you go. And thanks for sharing that, DH. Much appreciated. And what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think. I think there was something else I wanted to share, but now I can't remember. Okay, so we'll turn this off. And get this back out of the way over there. And let me get my lights going on. Let's get the plane fired up, and then we'll figure out where we're at here. Okay, let's see. Where's my little... She is. 
that turned on. Go. Batteries on. That's on. Nav light is on. Don't need our landing light on just yet. Don't need our strobes on. Okay, let's get this thr throttle cracked here. I can. Oh, I got something I got to do first. Did, I change, did you change your controls, Tree? You don't have to because I'm using the Xbox controller. Oh, that's for right. Juice. Oh, so that's right. I just don't even plug it in. If I'm not going to use it, of course, I'll have to. When I start using the camera controls, but yeah, if just going from the juice to a plane, it's just simple matter of unplugging the thing. And with the brakes, there we go. Apply and save. Back, resume. All right, let's crack the throttle here. There we go. Prop mixture full forward. There we go. Let's check our fuel selector on cutoff. So let's get a tank. There we go. Let's check our fuel level. Both tanks are full. Nice. Turn on a fuel pump. Some radios going here. Cow flaps up. Things fired up. On an alt. Twelve hundred. I uh, don't know if you remember, Tree, but a while back, um, uh, Raisins in Your Toast shared a Piper Turbo Arrow that was for sale. And uh, he mentioned, yeah, you know, you and Tree need to go in and have Z's on this thing, right? Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be fun? And I was looking at it again today and going through all the pictures and stuff. And, you know, I had some close-ups of the dash and, you know, the, the, the pedals and areas, you know, and... and I'm looking at how familiar I am with everything, where everything is, and I'm like, I could fly that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we probably could. Uh, <laughs> all the YouTube video we've watched of all these other pilots, first time flyers and first solos, and have you. Tricky part is if you got stuck on a crosswind landing or it's gusty or. But yeah, I often share the same vision of like, you know, I. I think I'm pretty familiar, and, and uh, to that point when I flew in that 182, even though I don't fly 182 in the sim very much, I was pretty familiar with where everything was. Yep. Oh, and uh, DH champion. says that he thought that article was interesting, and thanks for sharing it here. You bet, DH. Thank you. Uh, Dylan says he did a long flight today from Cape Town to Dubai. Wow. Wow, that is a long flight. Oh, there was a shout out for DH. Thank you. Thanks, Viper. Viper's checking in. Hey, Viper. Awesome. And Sergeant oh. Staff is here. It says, hey, Fox Trot and Tree. Sergeant Staff. Howdy. Hey, Sergeant Staff. We got the hangar door cracked open for you. There we go, Sergeant Staff. Shout out. Nobody saw that. <laughs> we saw it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Awesome. Hey, and as long as we're uh, just doing plugs, Flux and I were just talking earlier. Uh, some of you that watch know that I, for the last little bit over a year, I've used a butt kicker and uh, just sure enhances the experience, uh, which gives you, uh, turns the sound files into vibration and uh, allows you to kind of get maybe a little more immersion into the flight sim. And uh, mine, died just recently and uh, talked to the tech support folks at uh, the butt kicker and uh, they're going to replace it for me. So uh, the tech support was second to none. He was helpful with the extra fuse on the back and uh, said absolutely I'll take care of me. And uh, so anyways, just uh, can't say enough about tech support and the product. It's just been a great experience. And this channel is not endorsed by Butt Kicker in any way, shape, or form. Well, maybe a no. butt, butt shape. I don't know. But 
true. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. No, it is. It, yeah. So again, that's just an experience I had personally, and and uh, couldn't be happier. They're going to send me another one. And and for people that don't know, I'm, I got their website on my on my channel over here, but it's not working. Why isn't it working? Let me see here. Is that it? Nope. Interesting. It doesn't work. Huh. I'll have to bring it over to the middle here. What is a butt kicker? Here's the website. What is it? So you can see that's the device that goes on the bottom of the chair there and does the, the vibrations. And then there's a second piece that's... Uh, is an amp that controls it and you control the inputs uh how uh severe i guess for lack of a better term or the volume of what you want the vibration or motion to be so that's the amp there and that's what that's what uh finally failed so uh looking forward to get the new amp and hooking it back up and nice once once you use one you just you kind of feel lost without one yeah, I thought I'd so, pull that up in case somebody didn't know. Maybe they never heard of it before, but there you go. All right. Yep. So we need to figure out if we have a ground controller. Uh, we need to figure out which direction the wind is coming from and all that good stuff. Uh, but before we do that, let's see. Sergeant Staff spent all day out in the woods at his grandparents. Um, and Viper Strike had a great time with the, with the ATR. The Juice Goose over Norway. No, the ATR is not the Juice Goose. Sorry. I was thinking ATV. With the ATR, is that... That's not the Dash 7, is it? The ATR? What is the ATR? I can't remember. Yeah, ATR. The Viper had a great time with the ATR over Norway today. And let's give uh, Viper a shout-out. He's moderating here, so he's helping out. Let's give him a shout-out. If you've never checked him out before, here you go. And turn off the batteries. Turn off that. Turn off alternator. And that's it, guys. Wow. What an absolutely... Nice. And uh, Sergeant Staff says that both of his grandparents are gone, but he was out on their property today. Um, but you know, deer season is upon us. So he was out there for deer season. I was reading, so I read something about maybe the, the deer hunting isn't as good as it used to be as far as, you know, being able to find a deer. Um, is it, is it, is it a little bit harder these days, Sergeant Staff or, or, or no, it's, it's business as usual. And Viper says that the, the a ATR is a prop liner. Thank you. Looking at the dash seven, Sergeant Staff says, yep. Oh, not where you're at. So deer hunting is good. Okay, good, good. All right. We got to figure out where where we're going to be and stuff. So what I like to use is this little link here. So I'll put this in chat. STW is checking in. Hey, STW. If you follow that link, it'll give you it'll take you to a, a website that shows the METAR and the wind weather conditions at the at the airport. And up in the top right corner, I uh, can bring this over to my screen where you guys can see it. You'll see a little search window that says KCMH there. And so this is a great little utility here. And it tells you the wind direction is 130 okay, at 3 knots. So wind isn't going to be too much of a factor, hopefully, tonight. Um, STW schooled me last Wednesday on... Or last, yeah, well, last Wednesday on landings because I was having a hard time. But yeah, coming in at one three zero at three knots, so it looks like two eight uh, right or two eight left will be the active runway, uh, based on what we're seeing here. VFR conditions exist. We've got ten statute miles of visibility. A clear, clear night out there at John Glenn Columbus International Airport. Um. Okay, Dylan. Yeah, we'll try that here in a second. Um. Then, what we need to do, let's try what uh, Dylan just said. Here's a little nav map. And if you hover over, you'll get METAR as well. So we're hovering. And there it is. 
ACMH. Uh, actually, this says zero wind um, on, at, on, on this one down here. 10 statute miles visibility, clear skies, uh, altimeter 3025. And yeah, there you go. Cool. Yeah, Sergeant Staff, congrats on, on getting a deer. That's oh, you got one. Fun. Yeah, oh, I got nice. one. Eight point. Wow. Eight point. Nice. All right. Let's see here. That spy. Let's see. Let's go spy on. Uh, let's go spy on uh, SDW. Let's check out that spy. Okay. I was gonna stop by, but uh, I'm going to bed now. So. Hey, how you doing, Epic? Good. Hey, hey, Epic. I was just stopping by. I'm going to bed anyway. So. Are you? Well, it's good to hear your voice, and thanks for checking in. Yep. Yeah, yep. Epic. Thanks for checking in. All right. So, this is this is Vat Spy. Vat Spy. We can see who's controlling where. We got some central center controllers down here. Um, got a tower controller. You can see the T. There's a tower controller over here. Okay. There's a a ground and a tower controller over here. And then we're looking at KCMH at Columbus, and we do not have a tower controller. We do not have a ground controller. So that means that uh, STW, you can see he's up here, he is a uh, working approach for all of these airports, uh, KOSU, KCMH, K Lexington, KLEX, and probably a few other ones. So he's gonna be our tower controller because they do a top tier down approach. So we're gonna have to tune in his radio frequency and contact him as approach, even though he's tower. And um, we're gonna get that off the approach plate? Um, I see it right here, it's 125.950. 125.950. So let's get that tuned in. So this is how we figure out what's going on as far as that sim, who's doing what and who we need to contact, okay? So again, 125950, let me write that down. All right, so Columbus approach. But I say one. You start, you're starting at Columbus or somewhere else today? Columbus. Columbus. Ah, oh, you had like six other airports you could have started at. <laughs> hey, congratulations, SW. Yeah. Actually, five others because one of them, the tower closes real early. I don't see it um, in your radius. I don't see anybody else that's on tower. I see KOSU. Yeah, there was a guy, but he's uh, he's he, he left. Okay. So yeah, we'll hit Columbus. It's we've been you here. Get, you guys all you guys always get here kind of late. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, congrats, Sergeant Staff, and uh, have a great night. Thanks for checking in. Oh, your son got one too. A five point. All right, he's heading off to work. Sergeant Staff, thanks for checking in as always. And yeah, yeah, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. And STW, congratulations on your approach exam. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Nice job. Uh, 125.950. Right, so let's take a look at the V pilot and get that going. All right, so V pilot is. The application that uh, 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 VATSIM will recommend that you use, or they want you to use, in order to register on their network. That way, the radios and all that stuff work. Um, and so we need to. I like to check a flight plan out here. So we've got ACMH. ACMH. Not going into any other airports, so we'll just say here at KCMH. And what is my time? My time is. We'll see. 3.30 UTC, so we'll say 3.45. Good, that's good. Two hours of fuel, two hours of streaming, three hours, 
Time in route. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cruise speed. Good, good, good. Practice. And... No, you're actually going somewhere, or is it just... just no, 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 pattern no. Work today? Pattern, pattern work and maybe approach with you. ILS. It was earlier. I had like three or four guys all doing practice approaches. Nice. Okay, file flight plan. Oh, I gotta connect. And oh, yeah, that would help. Call sign. We got the code. Um, if you're new to this thing, you don't know how to what your code is. If you just type it in, I like to tell everybody this. I have a Piper, Arrow, Turbo, Three. Oops. And you'll see it down here. Piper Turbo Arrow. There, you just click on it, and it puts the type code in for you. We leave this in blank because we're not going over the ocean. You can connect as an observer, which is amazing if you want to get used to VATSIM. And you can tune in your radios and listen in. Um, and and kind of be, you know, off the network, but on the network. It's a great way to get used to it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect. And... Flight plan filed, because I can. Welcome in, whoever that is. It's a sleeveless. Hey, sleeveless, welcome in. Hey, sleeveless. Hey. All right, approach is 125.950, which I have right here, yes. And let's take a this, uh, look at ATIS. This is a, I like to double click on the ATIS. So we are at KCMH, so we'll double click on this one. ATIS is 124.60, double click. 124, okay, this, 124.60, and see what it says here. Zero winds, just like we saw before. Uh, 10 statute miles visibility, clear skies, uh, altimeter 3025. Where'd you see, three? oh, there it is, 3025, okay. Make a note of that. ILS runway 28 left, ILS 28 right, okay. Simula sim simultaneous approaches are in use. Uh, Pre-departure clearances are available on request. The aircraft safe direction of flight if we're leaving the area. Push and start at our discretion. All aircraft taxi with transponder and out encoding on, mine is on. Bird activity in the vicinity at CMH. Uh, read back all hold short advise you have info golf we gotta write that down info golf we gotta remember to say we have it info golf all right minimize this minimize this Ooh, somebody spawned on me Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Are you moving or? Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so let's get the altimeter tuned in. Two niner, no three zero dot two five. Three zero two five. Look at that altitude swing. Oh. Here we go. All right, I'll get this open. And tuning in ATIS is, does two things. It's a radio check to make sure that our network is working. And it's kind of cool to hear it. So 124.60. Let's have a listen. 0.1. Altimeter 3025, ILS, runway 28 left, and ILS, runway 28 right, simultaneous approach and use, notices to air mission, pre-departure clearance available on request, VFR aircraft say direction of flight, push and start at pilot's discretion, bird active vicinity CMH, read my call hold short instruction, Advise on initial contact. You have information calls. Golf, yep. 
Here we go. John Glenn Columbus International Airport HF Information Golf 0251 Zulu. Webcom. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 12,000. Nice. Temperature 7. 2.1. Altimeter okay. 3025. Okay. Now let's tune in approach at 125.95. 950, but 95 for me. 95. Runway. Oh. And then it's 28. So let's tune in. I'm going to tune in my heading bug for 280. Um, so that way I can use that when I start uh, doing the, the approach. And. What is our? We need to look at the. Uh, we need to look at the. Uh, our ILS uh, frequency. Okay, let's look at approach. I don't know if I'm getting two eight left or two eight right. What do you, What are you leaning to, leaning towards? Tree. Two eight left. Oh, is tree gone? Okay. You could always ask for it, but uh, usually ask for it once you're up in the air. Yeah, I was I was thinking I could ask for the runway, and then if you want to, you know, transition me over to a different runway because of whatever's going on, you know, you could do that. But I, th I, I that way I I can try to get I got a fifty fifty chance. I can try to get a couple of things set up for the ILS, and then if 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 I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I mean, I, really, they're both the same heading, so you just have yeah. to change uh, the frequency. The frequency, yeah. So I'm thinking, Tree, are you thinking 2.8 left or 2.8 right? What are you leaning towards? Uh, gosh. You know what? Probably 2.8 right is probably. Well, no, let's see. Yeah, 2.8 right. We'll just go right across the East Apron. The, uh, East Apron there, yeah. Okay. That makes most sense. And that way, if he has heavy traffic, that he has two eight left. So yeah, it makes sense for us yeah. to be on two eight right. So we'll request that. So I'm gonna look at the uh, the approach plate for two eight right for an ILS approach. For the C. So here we go. Runway two eight left. Uh, six two heavy. ILS. One four zero out of uh, one point nine for three thousand. We're gonna request the. Uh... Be this one. Arnav RMP Zulu 2A left in a Columbus from uh, Jesse. We want 111.75. One, one, on the request. Eight left is 111.75. One, one okay. And it's 281. 281 on the, uh, the heading bug on the course. 281. Okay, and then we can see the altitudes that we'll need to be at, you know, around 3,000, 2,300. So when he sends us out uh, to go pick up uh, the waypoint, we'll be climbing up to 2,300 or 3,300 is what we'll be expecting. Okay, but while I'm here, I'm going to look at 28 right. Uh, Turn right, heading a tree one zero vectors for approach. One zero nine dot one. I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna have the two eight right frequency. That's also gonna be a course of two eight one. Good pilots always prepared. <laughs> okay. So we'll go back to taxi. Take a look at this. And I am not showing up on Navigraph. I got to restart my SIM connect. Where is my SIM connect? That's weird because you were there, I thought. SIM connect, where are you? I don't know what the icon looks like. There it is, SIM link. 
November 8th, the Tango well, Captain X-ray. Captain uh, says, uh, they always give you 28 they're left. They're right heading 250. get them out of the way unless they're so busy. The localizer cleared out us from a 2 Okay, so red. maybe we should have picked 28 left. Well, I'm glad I wrote it down. All right, we'll prepare for 28 left. Okay. Um, it says I'm connected here. Plug in status. What was the frequency for 28 left? Uh, the ILS approach frequency for 28 left is 111.75. Got it. Oh, 28. Oh, I thought that was 28 right. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. And 28 left. The 86 yeah, 28 like left. Do you want to maintain 3000 or do you want to be at 6000, like it says on the chart? Is 111.75. What's 28 right then? 109.1 and you want to set your course uh, for 281 okay, why okay. isn't this showing me on hey, wait a minute wait a minute what am I doing wrong here it should show me on the runway it says it shows the simulator is connected right plug in status Yeah, make sure it's running when it, yeah, it was running. Why am I not showing up here? That's weird. Yeah, Simlink was... Okay, I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to restart it. Sorry, ch chat. Um... But those who are watching, it just gives you more time just to think about what we're doing, too. And um, you, you could do this without Navigraph. Navigraph is just handy. Okay, let's see if it picks me up now that I'm restarting it here. Come on, baby. And November 8th, Tango X ray, the wind calm, normally 2 inch right, you're clear for the option. Yep. You close the Avograph and reopen it. Hey, Tango X ray, Roger. Oh, sorry, Captain. Click the arrow on the top left. Okay, let me do that. Oh, there's my. There I am. All right, now I got my arrow. All right, so KCMH. I'm new to Navigraph, so I'm with it. We want open charts. Navigraph's the best thing ever. Hey, there it is. And uh, Eddie I absolutely love that movie. Jesse, at Jesse, you could the RNAV RMP Zulu. Or it's like the ultimate cheat code right, right there. Columbus. <laughs> it, is, it is the ultimate cheat code. You're absolutely right. I'm like, oh, I need my weather? Oh, Navigraph. Yep. It has everything you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 28 left is 111.75. Let's get that tuned in. Yeah, I got this in. Oh, I need 281. Yeah, I had that in there before. 281. Now. If you want to take it another step further, off the Navigraph website, get the in-game panel. You don't even oh. leave your screen. I oh. don't even leave. I don't. Navigraph. Really? There's yeah. In-game in panel. Mm-hmm. We're off the Navigraph website. And you can use that on uh, VR too, I think, right? I think so. Yep. The two eight left is wow one one yeah, one dot seven five. I will get that. Seven five. Uh, the only issue with the in-game panel, and there, it's not that the game doesn't allow them to do it, um, or the sim doesn't allow them to do it. But uh, they don't, they can't show the weather. Like they can't show uh, actual. Oh. Like they can't. Yeah. Yep. Mm. That's kind of dumb. Like the the radar. 
I didn't know Boeing owns Navigraph. Yeah, Isn't Jepson. Boeing the one that does Jepson? Yeah, Captain Gam. Captain Gam says Boeing owns Navigraphs. I didn't realize. Wow, that. didn't know that either. Hey, uh, Captain, welcome in, man. First time chat, um, and thanks for joining us tonight. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Welcome in. If you hit the smack, if you hit that follow button, you'll take one eight Romeo for Joy right up there on the top left corner. It's uh. My dad had a Piper Cherokee 140, and uh, he painted it and redid, got the upholstery and everything done. And um, we have the livery in the sim now, but it's on a Turbo Arrow 3. But hey, that's close enough for me. All right, so we have our altimeter set. We know what the weather's doing. Uh, we think we have a clue as to which uh, runway we're going to be taking off of. Sounds like it might be 28 left in real life. Um, we have a map of the airport and with taxiways, so we'll know, you know, so we can make our way around the airport. I think we're ready to get up in the air and contact, uh, contact approach here. I remember and Clark, one other thing that we use, radar, I'll just put contact. it up in front of the camera, but we both have a cardstock copy and, uh, of Appleton. the airport, so... Hold yes, we can see it on Navigraph, but we can also just pick up the hard copy here and take a look at kind of get your strategy ahead of time of here's kind of an overlay and, and, and uh, where we think we're going to spawn in at, which FBO, what runways. So that's always a discussion with Fox and I with the hard copies as we get started. Uh, wind is calm, runway 28 left. Yeah, we've had a couple of drive-wide discussions too when you're handing me the paper for <laughs> Yeah, Tree prints true. them up. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Captain uh, Gam is uh, also from Ohio and is a commercial pilot flying the PC-12. Oh, wow. Well, what a privilege to have you with us. My goodness. That's awesome. Yeah, welcome in. All right. Uh, pattern work. Uh, we're going to contact wow. Approach and get our clearance. And then, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll see about getting taxiing and stuff. So, Are we calling it? Does he want to be called approach, or does yeah. he want to be called approach? Approach. Yeah, Columbus I asked, approach. Yeah, I asked him that last time. Okay. All right. Uh, I went first last time. Last couple times. If you want to go? That's fine. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And Columbus approach, uh, Piper November six three one eight Romeo, in the uh, General Aviation FBO parking. Uh, looking to get uh, clearance for some VFR pattern work tonight. I gotta talk faster. Oh, boom. Hat number 6318, oh, Romeo, Columbus departure, the Columbus altimeter, 3025. Information Golf is current, Romeo, yeah, 28 left, that. taxi via Delta Charlie. 28 two eight left. left, Delta Charlie. 28 two left via Delta Charlie for 18 Romeo. Oh, thank you, in, Captain. In GA area, uh, looking to do pattern work, and uh, I have golf. And number one one three seven Victor, Columbus departure. Uh, runway two eight left, active via Delta Charlie. Runway two eight left, uh, taxi via Delta Charlie. So we have okay. our taxi clearance. So we can start yeah, we taxiing, do. and then uh, then he'll give us our uh, transponder code here in a minute. 62 Heavy Rider. Delta Charlie, 28 left. Okay, yep, Delta Charlie. And uh, Captain Gam says that we're at Signature. The F the name of the FBO that we're at is called Signature. Oh, gotcha. For, okay, that's good. That's for our reference, okay. yeah. yeah. All right, and he'll tell us to set our squawk when we get out there. Yep. All right, here we go. Okay, I'll follow you this time. You go ahead this time. Last time I got a couple of loops in for you. Or at least one. Okay, parking brake is off. Get those chalks cleared. Turn that off. There we go. There we go, Gary.
Fast taxi approved? All right, let's see. Taxi via Delta, Charlie. So Delta is right here to my right. I should see. I don't see any of the taxi things. I should see. Oh, that's right. You you are on the other side of it. At least the one I'm going to take. Should there see. you are. Yeah, Look. it's right there. This is grass. It's back this way a little bit. It's so hard at night, man. Is flocks mowing the grass? No, 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 no. I, no. I, I'm avoiding the grass. <laughs> I'll send you the bill. <laughs> Just looking for Delta Four. Here we go. There we go. Get on Delta here. All right. Follow the yellow brick road here. All right. Now uh, we're on Delta. Calm. I do have um, multiplayer on because uh, um, we do have friends of the channel uh, that that uh, spawn in from time to time that are just dipping their toes, maybe wanting to dip their toes into VetSim. And so want to be able to see them and interact with them a little bit um, and help them bridge the gap as much as I can, even though I'm I'm still very new myself. Um, but just trying to accommodate uh, everybody here. So that's why you see name tags on my uh, on my stream tonight, even though I'm on Vetsim. And number six three one eight Romeo Squawk five 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 one. Five 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 one four one eight Romeo. Um, Captain, Number sorry, one, but one to three seven Victor Squawk four five five six four five 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 one six five. One, Captain, I'm sorry about the four, uh, link four, protection. Five, five, six. My apology on that. Um, let me uh, put the link to the Discord, Captain. I'd be happy to. Charlie. Oh, it's not moving. I'd be happy to share the link. Or I can make you a crew member here. Okay, yeah, we're heading over to Charlie now. Somebody's taking off in front of us. Yeah, they're they're doing a touch and go. Cool. I'll look at chap here in a second. Okay, I gotta set my squawk here. Four, five, five, six. Eddie, six, two, radar contact, say altitude. Four. Eddie, six, two, uh, one point three, climbing three thousand over direct boo for the uh, public. Okay. Eddie, six, two, radar. Eighty six two, will you uh do you plan on doing the uh, hold there or are you just flying out that way? Hey firm, we'll be in the hold and uh, we'll pick up an IFR. Yeah, the uh, six two Roger. Okay, let me check out chat here. Didn't like your flight some link for CMH. Uh you're good. Also, why is your nose gear flashing? My nose gear is flashing. Hang on a second. Is that inside here? Is that this flashing down here? Uh, what that is, um, my understanding is down here, you have a couple of options for the gear. You can have... And uh, Eddie 62 apparently the uh, virtual NAS hates us tonight. We need your recycle transponder squawk 6643. 6643 Eddie 62. So right now, the gear is set for manual um, up and down. So I need to select it. There's an option here for auto, and I don't know how it does it, 
but uh, after you take off, the gear will automatically come up, and as you're landing, it'll automatically come down. If it's on auto, whoops, if it's on auto, this does not flash. So I think this is flashing as a warning saying, hey, you're responsible for the gear. So don't land with the gear up. And number 6318, Romeo, you ready to go? Hey, Romeo's ready to go. Number 18, Romeo, Columbus winds are calm. Make left close traffic, number 28 left, you're clear for takeoff. I'll be left close traffic for 18 Romeo, clear for takeoff, 28 left. Go. All right. What are you, are you going to be in the pattern uh, sleeveless, or are you heading out to someplace? So, uh, I think I'm going to hit a couple. I'm going to. I have a VFR uh, uh, plan filed. Uh, I'm going to hit a couple airports in the area. There's so many of them that I figure, you know what? Let's do touch, touch and goes at a bunch of different airports and then come back. Right. If, cool. I, could, if I could do it in under half hour, forty minutes or so, then I'll probably jump in a tail dragger. Kind of want to point with the idea of doing it in the first place but I kind of like this Ryan I got the Ryan Navi and B thing is so sweet nice. it's a uh, Ryan yeah made by people who made the P51 oh cool uh, well no 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 not in sim but in real life Ryan corporation nice oh, I gotta wait for the engines to warm up all right All right, we're about 400 feet. Victor holds short runway, 28 left. That close traffic. And number 37, Victor, runway 28 left, line up away. Try to do a uh, standard rate turn here, 20 degrees. Number 389er Juliet Mike Columbus departure. Information Golf is current. Altimeter 3025. Uh, runway 28 left. Taxi via Delta Charlie. Yes, we have Golf on board. Uh, taxi via Delta Charlie to 28 left. Uh, Niner Juliet Mike. Great. We're at about pattern. 1137 one, Victor Wind Call. Make left close traffic from a 28 left. Clear for takeoff. Number 18 Romeo, uh, traffic departs Friday arrival is a Baron, uh, runway 28 left, you're clear for the option. Look for the option, and we'll watch for that traffic, what do you Romeo? We are glitchy. There we go. Better watch my vertical speed here. Approach Kennedy, uh, 62 climb at 6,000. And Fox? 62 climb maintain 6,000. Left traffic, so so we're going we're going across uh, two eight approach, correct? No, we're on left. We're on left, so we're not going we're not going across the approach because we're already on the far left. That was if we were on two eight right. Oh, so I'm doing a right close traffic? No, left close traffic. Left oh, that's traffic. right. Oh, yeah, right's on the other side. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Niner, Juliet, Mike. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, do you require flight following today? Yeah, we'll take some flight following. We'll take a flight, uh, flight following. Time to Mike. Number nine, Juliet, Mike. Uh, say uh, your destination airfield, or at least the next one you're going to, and uh, request a cruise altitude. Uh, we would like to go to Ohio State University first. Um, uh, I'd like to uh, get up to 3,000 if possible. Hey, remember Niner, Juliet, Mike, uh, Squawk, 4541. Hey, Infidel Fireman, welcome in. 4541 for Nigel Mike. Mike. Oh, that's not a bad lineup, guys. Not too bad. Approach November 48, Tango X-ray. There's treetop out there.
just float this puppy down here. I remember eight the Tango X Ray. <laughs> the Infidel, thank you. <laughs> right base, uh, firmly at two eight left. Uh, Captain Gam is going to be sleeping. Actually, I must sleep. You guys have a good like night. A Enjoy the skies. We will do that. Captain, thanks for popping in and uh, offering up some advice. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll catch you another time. We'll see you, bud. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. We appreciate Tango X -ray. Appreciate all the advice you gave us. Buzzy. And report established on the local end. Frederick Buzzy and we'll report established. I was having a hard time with my landings Number last three, week. Seven, Victor, runway a two eight left. Uh, clear to stop and go. Three seven Victor, two eight left, clear from go. This uh, runway does not have a center lights down the center of it. Oh, interesting. Hey, negative six eight tree. Negative six eight. Zero four zero T ready to copy instruments to Altus. Negative six. six Six eight, six eight, six eight, six eight. Six eight. Six eight. Uh, to the Lima Tango Sierra Airport. Just kissed it. Uh, vectors two empty. Then as filed, uh, maintain at six thousand. Flux. Uh, two thanks, seven, Infidel. One three. Flux, she says six eight three. Six eight. Six eight. Six eight. Yes, six eight. No three. No. Oh. No two, two no nine, six and, uh, eight. Let me know when you're ready for uh, to get on course. I just, I didn't want to make sure I misunderstood you. There was another digit there. Six. <laughs> okay. <Eight>. Game on. <laughs> Game on. Tree was spanking me last week, man. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, and uh, Eddie 62 will do one more uh, rotation and hold, and uh, we'll proceed on course. Eddie 62, Roger. Uh, one departure, uh, 9 Julie Mike, one short of runway 28 left at uh, Charlie 1. 9 Julie Mike, remain holding short, landing traffic. Oh, Tree, do you have your, your lights on? Because you're in the daytime, but everybody else might be at night. Since you are technically VFR, I mean, I, uh, it'll be your, your own navigation, I guess. Unless you, unless you want me to vector you into it. Negative, uh, we can... Uh, Okay, I got you. Okay, that was right. Tango X right, not oh. Nine or Julia Mike. Oh shit. I was uh one. Number one eight. Corona extended downwind. I'll call your base. Uh, send the downwind. You'll call base for one eight room. Number nine or Juliet Mike. Uh, fly runway heading. The wind zero four zero three. Runway two eight left. You're clear for takeoff. Runway heading. Clear for takeoff. I think I was uh, one one eight one clock, so you got me good on that one. Okay, Roger that. This aircraft this frequency, Columbus Information Hotel now current. Uh, wind zero four zero three, altimeter three zero two five. Dayton Information Kilo, Wilmington Foxtrot, Ohio State Information Zulu. The wind is calm, altimeter three zero two five. And remember, 1H Romeo base turn approved. Uh, wind the uh, calm. Romeo 28 left, you're clear for the option. Uh, 28 left, clear for the option for winning Romeo. Actually, the wind uh, 0403. 0403. And remember, 8 the uh, Tango X ray. Uh, two aircraft, uh, 12 o'clock, one turning base, one on the down, one report them inside. Both aircraft inside, 28. Number one one three seven Victor, standard down one dog, call your base. One three seven Victor, let's 
Turn it. One three seven Victor, extend downwind, call base. Actually, at number three seven Victor, make a right three hundred and sixty. Three seven Victor, right three hundred and sixty. Number nine or Juliet, Mike, radar contact, stay altitude. Uh, one thousand two hundred for three thousand nine hundred. Uh oh. Number nine or Juliet, Mike, Roger, you can resume on navigation, maintain uh, VFR. Um, uh, navigation, retain, uh, maintain VFR for nine hundred. <laughs> Approach 4, Tango X-ray, establish high left, 28 left. Number 8, Tango X-ray, so, early chat, 28 left, I can ask SDW two, left, two, left, track. on initial left, radar contact, left, left, ATC left, left, says, left, say, left, altitude. Left, I'm curious, is that so he, ATC knows that they have the correct altimeter setting dialed in? I'm wondering why they say that. On on uh, initial radar contact. And uh, Eddie six two request direct empty. Eddie uh, six uh, two could direct empty. Direct empty Eddie six two up to three five. And a one oh eight. A six two climb maintain one three thousand. One three thousand Eddie six two thanks. Okay. Radar identification purposes. All right. Round over blue. Round over blue. I love it. Welcome in. Thank you for that first time chat there. Oh no! Uh, November one one three seven Victor. I'd say the uh, best airport for you to land at is Rick Bakers to your. Uh, Trees declaring an emergency. In, uh, about eight miles. Do you have that site? Roger, uh, not sure if I can make that out to 3-7 uh, gives you a slightly more chance than uh, doing the impossible turn there back to Columbus. Not true. I'm just going to slew this up. Because there's something I know I got. In engine monitor alarm. Never had that before. Wow. Son of a gun. Well... Yeah, I don't think you're going to make it. Uh, no, I'm going to go over there to Rickenbacker, though. Just for uh, five, Alpha Mike, uh, Columbus Approach, Columbus Alpha, Tree, zero, two, three, zero, two, five, squawk, five, five, three, seven. Five, five, three, seven, number five, six. And A6, you'll be uh, climbing above my airspace here shortly. Redder service is terminated for you to change route. I should request uh, ATC to uh, vector me over to Rickenbacker so I can help out my friend. I was just—I <laughs> just, just, was just saying I should request to be yeah, uh, vectored help. over to Rickenbacker to help out my friend. Niner, Julia, Mike, request access to Ohio State Class Delta. Number nine, Julia, to Mike, entering the uh, class Delta Air Services terminated. Enter the left base for runway two seven left. Enter left base for two seven left. Uh, nine, Julia, Mike. And number five, Alpha Mike, your radar contact. And about three two miles southeast of the uh, Columbus Airport. You can expect vectors to the Alice runway two eight right approach. You expect vectors runway. Oh, uh, good luck, tree. Number 18 Romeo, runway 28 left, you're clear for the option. I clear for the option 28 left for 18 Romeo. Number 1137 Victor, I see you might have regained your engines or something like that. Are you still heading to Bolton or do you want to return to Columbus? 37 Victor, headed to Rickenbacker. Or correction, yeah, that would be Rickenbacker. Uh, the uh, Rickenbacker winds are calm. Uh, runway 28 left or right, you're clear to land your choice. Victor winds calm and two eight right or two eight left or left. Our correction that's two three left and right. I keep getting my runways mixed up. Two three left right or left. 
And number five, Alpha Mike, uh, flatheading 020 and uh, vectors for approach. Okay, 020, Alpha Mike. And number five, Alpha Mike, does center maintain uh, 3000? I overshot that one a little bit. In November uh, Niner Juliet Mike, uh, runway 27, you're clear for the option. Clear for the option, Niner Juliet Mike. Niner Juliet Mike, uh, where are you headed after Ohio State? Kilo India Lima November for Niner Juliet Mike. Let me approach uh, 137 Victor, got both engines started. Please advise. And remember, 37 Victor, if you want to return to Columbus, uh, that'll be a suggested turn uh, to 010. 0 0. Let me approach uh, 37 Victor, 010. 0 0. I don't know what that was. All of a sudden, I got a engine alarm. I got plates in realistic running and I don't know if I have failure points in there. Uh, I don't think that does failures. I don't know why it would do that. I've never seen that before. You have a master alarm that's still red or did you clear it? No. Number 8, Tango X-ray, runway 28 left, you're clear for the option. Idiot lights are off. So what plane are you flying? Is it the, it's the it's the Baron. The Black Square. Uh, Black Square Baron, yeah. So I'm just curious if Chat has had any similar experiences in that plane, and that's a yeah, that nine a, three for one eight Romeo. Nine three. Nine three. Wow. And remember, uh, Niner Juliet Mike on the go, uh, fly heading a two a seven zero. Two seven zero for nine Juliet Mike. Up his approach, uh, November 6th through UNA Romeo with a request. Hey, 1 8 Romeo, go ahead. I'd like to be uh, vectored for uh, ILS 28 left approach. Hey, November uh, 1 8 Romeo, uh, fly runway heading, climb and maintain 3000, and was that the left side or the right side? Left side. Remember, 1 8 Romeo, you can expect uh, vector spouse runway 1 8 left approach. That'll be climb and maintain 3000, runway heading for 1 8 Romeo. Remember, Niner Juliet, Mike, you're a radar contact, the altitude. Putting at 2500 for 9 Juliet, Mike. And remember, Niner Juliet to Mike, you can uh, resume mode navigation, uh, maintain uh, VFR outside the Columbus Class Charlie. Maintain VFR outside Columbus uh, Class Charlie for 9 Juliet, Mike. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, something's wrong. Did you put in the wrong head into your plane? I thought I had it in there. Should be two eight one. No, no, yeah, it is the wrong. It's the opposite of two eight one. No, it's not. It's two eight one. It should be two eight one. Yeah, should be. Yeah. Yeah, two eight one. Hang on. I thought I had that in there. One one three seven Victor. Yeah, two eight one. Uh, traffic. Is a uh, beach craft on a two mile left base for two eight left to port them inside. Three seven Victor traffic inside. Number three seven away. Victor, you can uh, follow them inbound into the left base, room two eight left, room two eight left, you're clear for the option. Yeah, that's that. Ron heading. Should do it. Here we go. Number 1137 of Victor, show you turning left. That traffic was uh, to your right that you're supposed to follow. I'm going to maintain 3000. Pitching to climb. Alright, I don't know what happened a second ago. 37 Victor. Uh, uh, what happened? Oh, Roberts Gaming with the follow. Thank you for that. Welcome Number to the Fox Front Tanger. You're left hitting a 360. Climb and maintain 3,000. Well, I guess I should start. You should be climbing here. Gotta keep checking that vertical left speed. Left base. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're just making left traffic to it left. Yeah. Yep. 
You know, it sucks yep. with Flux. You know, he takes so long to climb, I can't tell him to turn <laughs> until he's climbing higher. <laughs> That's true. I'm a little bit high here. I got in trouble like a whole bunch back when I was learning to be a pro to turn people when they were too low. Mm. Well, it helps if I put my gear and my flaps up. I got a little dis... Got to yeah, there, task. There, was, there, was one, there was one time I did it and the instructor was actually impressed that I aimed a guy right at like <laughs> like a cell phone tower or something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right. Yeah, yeah if you're going to screw up, man, screw up in, in right. style. Right. In November 1-8 Romeo, turn left heading 1-8-0, vectors for approach. 1-8-0 for 1-8 Romeo. Uh, Splasher's checking in. Uh, hang on a second, Splasher. 180. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm at 3,000. 180. Ah, uh, okay. Start my left base. One thing at a time. And November 9, Juliet, Mike, the Wilmington altimeter, 3026. 3026 for 9, Juliet, Mike. Appreciate it. Number five, Alpha Mike, uh, you're five miles from Buckeye. Turn left heading tree one zero. Maintain uh, 3,000 and so I'll stop us on the look. Let's put us from a uh, 2H right approach. 3-1-0, 3,000, so stop us 2H right. So what's the... What's yeah, the, we'll make a correction here. You're five miles from Why Not. I got the runways wrong. What's the fudge factor if I'm told if I'm told 3,000? Is it like within 100 feet or within 50 yeah, feet? 50 What's... to 100 feet. Okay, okay. Just curious. If you're 300 feet off, then I'm really going to know there's not going to say something. Right. Because at that point, uh, it's it's like an issue with uh, your mode Charlie, your altitude reporting mode. Even if it's 200 feet, I'll say it's up to people. So, Stu, uh... Wil Wilmington is within your approach airspace. Yeah. Wow. That must be I got, the edge I got of it. Natus there. Yeah. Actually, there's probably another 10 miles south of that you could go. What? So you almost touch uh, uh, Cincinnati. I overlap I overlap with Cincinnati a little bit. Oh, there's no doubt you overlap with Cincinnati. I, I would assume that Wilmington was there, Cincinnati There's a part airspace. of it that I have control uh, service to 6,000, another part service to 8,000, and Cincinnati has the rest. Oh. So tree where you're at. Great at, Tango at, X-ray, runway two eight left. You're clear for the option. Where you're at at Rickenbacker, Splasher oh. says that Rickenbacker used to be known as Lockbourne, Lockbourne, Lockbourne uh, Army Air Force Base. It's where my dad finished out his service in World War II. Wow. And where you had your. For Romeo, turn left heading one zero zero. Didn't know that. One zero zero for one eight Romeo. Wow, interesting. Number 37 Victor, you can make uh, left close traffic. 37 Victor, left close traffic. Number 5 Alpha Mike, the wind 040 at tree, runway 28 right, zero, clear to land. Clear to land, 28 right, 5 Alpha. Alright, I should be looking at that approach plate. Let me get Navigraph up here. Uh, let's see, approach. We are on 28 left, ILS. And we'll do the overlay. Well, that was interesting with the engine failure. Yeah, it was. Right? It, it, no, but, you know it's uh, funny? You're not even the first engine failure today. Jeez. But I would have, had I oh. not slewed up, I, I was only at uh, 2,000 feet when those things... I, uh, you, you wouldn't I, have made I, it, yeah. No, I was, I was in the... I would have been... I best I could have done is got back to somewhere in the field by the runways, Maybe. Oh, uh, I picked up the Just Flight, not Just Flight, uh, Black Square uh, TBM850 today, guys. Oh, is it Fantastic. nice? Fantastic. Oh, my God, is it great? Yeah, it's a great plane. I have it. Oh, it's great. Really? Remember, gotta... uh, 1137 Victor, traffic uh, 12 to 11 o'clock, and the downwind with you. Report them inside. Uh, downwind at 11 o'clock. I was just pulling up. Uh, uh, must be this guy in front of me here. No, he's at fourteen thousand feet. I don't have traffic in sight. And remember, at eleven o'clock. Tango X-ray. Uh, traffic on about a six-mile final for the right side. Is a C four two one for them in sight. Yeah, we 
traffic inside, oh no, I got him right there. Number five, Alpha Mike, uh, traffic in the left of base, firmway two eight left, uh, for them inside. Traffic inside, five Alpha Mike. Oh wait. Did you even have the aircraft? Yeah, I got him. No, I I, I said re, uh, traffic in sight. Oh, I must have missed Ooh. it. I just skimmed by the uh, uh, Bolton Delta. No, nah, you were a decent ways away from it, and Bolton's closed right now. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you're still approach. I would have, you still need access to their class Delta, wouldn't yeah, I? It's class Echo right now. Oh, wow, it's closed. It closed like four hours ago. Oh, Jesus. This Actually, is a very... OSU technically closed 20 minutes ago. This is a very interesting area. I Two international airports overlapping each other like that is crazy. Like, other than well, D.C., I understand. D well, no, JFK, or not JFK, uh, Dulles is a international airport. Reagan, I don't think, is. It's not, no. Nope. Yeah, this is crazy. Two international airports right next to each other like that. Then you have Bal you have Baltimore. That's one. Well, oh yeah, For yeah. Victor, runway two eight left. Uh, you could stop and go. Three seven Victor, two eight left. Stop and go. Turn our landing light off out here, I guess. Haven't come close to you, Fox. So far. Yeah, I see you over there. Off uh, on the stream, you can see your, you can see your uh, name tag below me there, off my nose. Yep. I was just trying to keep from dying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what's uh, going on with the old flocks here. I'm trying to get Number set up for an approach. One one three seven Victor, uh, traffic on about a mile final for the other runway. Do you have them in sight? Uh, let's see, mile final, the other one. No, I don't have them. Oh, yikes. Well, on one three seven Victor, as long as you don't go too far to the right, you should be fine. Um, chat, when I, just a question, uh, audio question. When I hear Treetop on Discord, he sounds 5x5, five five. he's right there, but when I hear Treetop on the uh, VATSIM radio, it's like his volume's cut in half. Do you he either, needs to adjust his volume a little bit. It's either he needs to adjust his volume, or you need to turn it up just a little bit. So, like your... Yeah, you need to turn up his out, your output, or he needs to turn up his input, but I think he's fine. But I hear him fine on Discord. But I, yeah, there's, okay. there's different audio sliders yeah. in each program. Yep. Oh, let me look. It sounds and like I hear, I hear everybody output. else. I hear everybody else on 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 that sim fine. He's the only one that sounds low oh. to me. Oh yeah, well, you know maybe I, he I, can he can turn it up a few decibels maybe. Yeah, maybe a decibel. But if so. you guys he hear him fine, then it must be on my end is why I'm asking. But as well, it's only him. Fine is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, is he a little more quiet than uh, you guys or everybody else? Yes. Check one two. Check one two. Uh, so that's on Discord. That sounds great to me. It's not bad on. So Brown over Blue says it's not bad on his end. A little quiet, but not bad. Okay. Going up there to NetJet. Sounds fine right now on the stream. Splasher says. Yeah, on Discord he sounds great. Five by five. It's just when he's on the radio. Can we can we taxi back for departure and put in a request to some practice? Number five, Alpha Mike, runway two H right at Foxtrot one, taxi by Foxtrot. Don't need to change anything, Tree. It's just uh, an observation I'm making. Uh, okay. Uh, chat and everybody says that they can hear you, so that's what's important. That's what I wanted, I wanted to make sure of. Okay. And so I'm getting lined up for an ILS approach. Um, so if you see me on Navigraph here, here's the. I uh, see you out there. Here's the approach plate. Number one eight Romeo, Here turn left, heading zero one zero. A zero one zero for one eight Romeo. 
So now we're going to get vectored in to pick up that ILS. Let me turn that off. Zero, one, zero. Remember, one, one, three, seven, Victor, make a right 360. Three, seven, Victor, right 360. Zero, one, zero. Remember, five, Alpha, Mike, uh, you could to the Columbus International Airport. I bet our vectors maintain 3,000, that's walk 4565. Okay, we're clear to Columbus. Uh, Mike, read back correct. All right, so we've got the frequency tuned in. Um, looking at Navigraph on the approach plate, we can see that the frequency is 111.75 for the nav radio to tune in the ILS for 28 uh, left. And we want to have a course of 281 on our uh, course indicator. So let's double check and make sure we got that. 111.75. Uh, there it is on the NIAV radio tuned in. We do have a signal. And we do have 281 dialed in the course. So we're set up. This is our glide slope indicator. One one three seven Victor traffic at twelve to one o'clock is a uh, B scrap for them inside. Uh, let's see. Three seven Victor uh, traffic inside. Number uh, one one three seven Romeo, uh, you are three miles from Buckeye. Turn left, heading three one zero. Maintain three thousand until second. Clear Dallas runway two eight left approach. But, uh, can you please repeat that one more time? I had Number it. Number 6318 Romeo, you are two miles from Buckeye. Turn left heading uh, 250 now. Maintain 3000 until established on the localizer. Clear to ILS from a 28 left approach. Uh, 250 until established on the localizer. Cleared to uh, or approach for 28 left for 18 Romeo. Number 1137 to Victor, make a, another right 360. Okay, looking for that localizer now. Number 9 or Juliet, Mike, Ooh. the uh, Wilmington Airport, you're 12 o'clock, 20 miles. We're you have in sight. Oh shit, I did the wrong one. Confirm, 280. Uh, we have the airport in sight request. Wait, one. Oh man. Number 9 or Juliet, Mike, go ahead. I did the wrong uh, one. Would like access to the class Echo slash class Delta airspace of Wilmington as well as uh, practice. Uh, I'll fly an intercept. Right Hopefully he doesn't catch me. Okay, November uh, nine or I did the wrong one. Mike, I did. I did brown over blue. Uh, I did. I've listened to it in the past, but I I have a hard time doing that. Um, number one one three seven Victor only two eight left. You're clear for the option. Three seven Victor two eight left. Clear for the option. All right, let's get that. Let's get this. Uh. Let's get this lined up here. Number nine, Juliet. Mike, did you want uh, the right side or the left side? Uh, right side. Uh, it seems like we're Can't I turn on the speaker the, up here for now, uh, one? Do you hear it? For, I think that's how you do it. Uh, one, two, two, right. Uh, nine, Juliet, Mike. Yeah, number nine, Juliet, uh, Mike. You gotta pay attention here. Uh, join the runway two, two, right, localizer. We'll join the two, two, right, localizer for nine, Juliet, Mike. Boy, I over, way over flew this thing. What the heck, man? Oh, I messed that up. Okay, so Buckeye 3000. Me, uh... Gotta get a little bit more aggressive to meet Buckeye. And remember, Niner, Juliet, Mike, uh, you're five miles from Wizard. I maintain 2,500 uh, until established. And you cleared the Alice from a uh, two, two right approach. Uh, call uh, eight mile final. Maintain 2,500 uh, until established on the localizer. We're all here to learn, right? Right. Call Thank you. On eight mile uh, final for. Nine, Mike. Number one, one, three, seven, Victor, only two, eight, left, to clear for the option. Three, seven, Victor, 
the victor to a left rear cross. Uh, here it comes. Number five, Alpha Mike. Light slope is working. Come on, baby. Uh, that was a little aggressive here. We'll get her. We'll get her. We got the glide slope. We'll get her. Okay. I'm going to turn off the altitude hold. And I'm going to cut the power just a little bit. Oh, uh, 98 Fox. 98. Nice job. 98, that's two digits. Okay, I'm watching my glide slope. Trying to get established on the localizer here. Here we go. Uh, Come on, baby. Overflying it. it Got to be a little bit more easy. Come on. Your, uh, nine Mike. We are Light slope on, still uh, good. Right localizer. Come on, come Number on, Number nine, Juliet, Mike. Uh, no traffic reserve between you and the uh, Wilmington Airport. Get our services are terminated. Bring you change approved, and you can uh, call me airborne if you want anything else. We'll, uh, oh my God. Uh, we will go uh, monitor uh, Unicom uh, nine, Juliet, Mike. Okay, we'll now let's switch over to day, uh, there. Wow, I messed Pick that one up. up. Oh. Number eight. <laughs> Uh, actually disregard. Okay, gears coming down. Light slope is looking good. I speed up a little bit. And yeah, number eight, Tango X ray, Nacho traffic on laps. a five mile final as a piper. Make a short approach, only two eight left your cliff, clear to touch and go. Oh, we got the traffic. Short approach, clear touch and go. Two eight left. Uh, Four eight two left. Nice. Number one eight Romeo. Uh, traffic is a uh, Beechcraft. We're making a uh, short approach of uh, the touch and go in front of you. I have that Beechcraft in sight. When you were Number five Alpha Mike. Radar contact to altitude. Number five Alpha Mike. Maintain three thousand. Number one one three seven Victor, make a right three sixty. Three seven Victor, right three sixty. Another notch of flaps. You, you can't you can't speed. ever just fly the slower Baron. I I like this one, and I don't mind it. Well, I, I don't mean, the mind. The slower one's my still end, basically the same. I, same, it's I, just I minus the turbo. I know it gives you extra work. Actually, and this, minus the tip tank, I think too. Uh, I think the stall speed's about the same though. And I. Oh yeah, I'm it's almost exactly the same. And I'm purposely staying under 140 with uh, flaps one. And also the one without the turbo, I think you can like spool it up and down easier. Oh, okay. Next week I'll do the one without the turbo. Ah. Remember one H Romeo reduced uh, final approach speed. Reduce final approach speed. Number five Alpha Mike turn uh, right heading a tree. Another notch of flaps. Zero seven zero vectors for approach. Cutting the throttle here. Uh. Number one eight Romeo or am I two eight left? Uh, you're clear for the option. Clear for the option for two eight left to have that traffic in sight. Number five Alpha Mike, uh, say requested approach. I will take the ILS to me, right? Uh, number five, Alpha Mike, Roger. Hey, autopilot's coming off. It's already off. Right on. Dude, this was a good choice of airports. Or a good choice of airport airspace. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's yeah, I like so this. many. There's so many airports in this area. And they're all, like, good airports. They're not, like, just rinky-dink, uh, someone's backyard airports. Yeah, there's one of those up in the, uh, Indy airspace, pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's, like, a dozen of them in your airspace right now. <laughs> there's one, like, right... 
there's one literally rinky dink uh field literally just south of the airport i was like oh my god <laughs> like just uh, south of the uncontrolled field yeah an uncontrolled field just oh, south there, of the airport. there are so many uncontrolled fields on my cheat sheet i've only marked the ones that are class echo <laughs> and, and there's already like 30 40 of them on the paper Number one, one three seven Victor, only two eight left here. Clear to stop and go. One three seven Victor. Oh shit, I missed my slope. Number five, off the mic, turn right, hitting a one zero zero. Yeah, I know, I'm over. There she goes. You know, a lot of these airports they closed like thirty six minutes ago. Oh, naturally. Yeah, they closed an hour later than Bowman did. And remember, 6318 Romeo, what are your intentions on the go? Oh, we'll get back in that left pattern. Number 6318 Romeo, rather make uh, left closed traffic, and uh, traffic off your left in the crosswind, report them inside. This thing flies in ILS beautifully, looking? for the most part. I don't see him. Oh, I think oh, the guy's, like, really lagging. Uh, 1 8 Romeo has that traffic in sight. Remember, 1 8 Romeo, maintain visual separation with the traffic. We'll maintain for 1 8 Romeo. And remember, 8 Tango Extra, you have any issues right now? Uh, where are we at? Two, three mile final, short final. Yeah. He's just sitting there still on my screen. Not like I lost radar contact either. And number eight, Tango X ray radar contact last time, zero four, three eight and one quarter. We're five off a of mic turn right ten degrees. Right ten. Five up. Ah, oh, darn. One four two. One four two, okay. I think I had a one, one nine three or a one nine eight on my last one here. Boy, it's hard. Yeah, I'm looking for that traffic up ahead of me, but I don't see him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with this flight sim realistic. The filters are way too high. Once I once I hit the runway, I sound like. Uh, some Model A going down the road at 35 miles an hour. Oh, well. Everything's shaking. I'm going to turn those down. I thought it was an earthquake. I could feel that over here. <laughs> yeah. Just me. For those that don't know. Tango X-ray, welcome back. You should uh, turn your left base now. Tree is uh, my in-real-life next-door neighbor. What and is Romeo? I have that uh, traffic. A, uh, actually, I uh, just... Yeah, one eight Romeo has that traffic inside, making a left base up there. Uh, number one eight Romeo, you can follow that traffic, and uh, Romeo one eight left, or correction two eight left. Uh, you're clear for uh, touch and go number two. Uh, two eight left, touch and go number two for one eight Romeo. We'll follow. Number one one three seven Victor, make a right three sixty. One three seven Victor, right. I guess I shouldn't have said that. Said it that way. Uh, because that could sound like a heading. Uh, 
Alright, remember uh, 8 Tango X Ray Roger on the go. Fly runway heading maintain uh, 2500. 8 Tango X Ray, Probably I think, is right here. Uh -oh. And number five, Alpha Mike, uh, turn to right, uh, heading one nine or zero. One nine zero five. One one three seven, Victor, my two eight left. You are cleared for the option number three. Number three. Number three. Or as we like to say, number three. <laughs> yeah, number. That's what that's yeah. definitely what you're supposed to say. <laughs> number three. Yeah. Well, Mr. Departure, this is uh, November 3, 800 to Mike, uh, just touch and go at runway 22 at Wilmington, uh, ascending uh, 2,600 for 3,000. Uh, November 3, 800 to Juliet, Mike, uh, Kilo Mr. Parcher, radar contact position is reported. And uh, stand by for a request. I we'll still have that. Uh, stand by for a request. Uh, that frequency tuned in, in and uh, I can uh, use that glide slope again. And number five, Alpha Mike, you're three miles from Why Not. Turn right, hitting two five zero. Maintain three thousand until established on the local as a clear dial. From a two eight right approach. Two five zero. It's pretty cool being able to practice these ILS approaches, you know. We can see, um, we can practice, and then if we ever need to use it in bad I weather, remember, we've got uh, it. Remember, 9 Juliet might go ahead with the request. Uh, request uh, flying north uh, towards Columbus to uh, Rickenbacker for a touch and go. I remember 9 or Juliet, uh, Mike, uh, maintain VFR, resume on navigation. Game VFR, uh, we'll resume our navigation. Not really, Mike. Well, sleeveless is a uh, little social is a social butterfly there with these airports tonight, right? Man, he is. <laughs> I think next week if we're here, uh, uh, going to Rickenbacker. Yeah, remember, back, uh, be fun. eight okay. Tango X-ray, your radar contact altitude. Uh, through one thousand six hundred for eight Tango X-ray. And remember, eight Tango X-ray, maintain VFR, resume our navigation. VFR on navigation. And remember, eight Tango actually live on you of the uh, weather and no dims for the Ohio State Airport. Uh, eighty-three at eight-three for one eight Romeo. Eight-three. Wow. New record. New record. Did I hear a one eight three or an eight three? <laughs> <laughs> number five Alpha Mike, uh, the wind zero four zero three, runway two eight right. You're clear for the option. For the option two eight right. Approach forward, Tango X-ray. We got the weather for you. Oh, 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 oh. Tango X-ray, Roger. Okay, Flux. Six four, man. Six four. Nice. Six four. Wow. I think that's that's the best I've ever done in this Baron. See, you inspire so me you, to you do just levels. You had the one up flocks there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Couldn't help it. And number one one three seven, Victor. Continue runway heading for now. I'll call your turn. So believe it or not, this is actually a test for me because I do so much IFR flying 
it's very uncomfortable to do VFR flying. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, meanwhile, me, it's just second nature. Hey, he does VFR flying all the time. I do, I do both. You literally just get out there and fly the plane, stay outside of airspace. It's not that difficult. Yeah. No, I know. I'm talking about the communication to calls. Oh, like, boy. I don't, Guess what? You, you're requesting to enter airspace. You don't need to do that unless you're in a Bravo. Oh, you don't need to... Number five, but, Alpha Mike, roger. Trying to maintain a 3,000, and uh, you're going back around for the 1-8 uh, or 2 eight right approach. Uh, we'll put our, can we press 2-8 left? Number five, Alpha Mike, on request. Break out, number 37, Victor, cross one turn approved. 37, Victor, cross one approved. Number 1-8, Romeo, runway 2-8 left to your clear for the option. I'll clear for the option, 2 8 left for 1 8 Romeo. Yeah. So you only need a clearance into an airspace and let, uh, if it's a, a class Bravo. So you, you don't... need explicit clearance into a Bravo, like oh. they say they cleared into the Bravo. For a Charlie you. and a Delta, you just need your two way radio communication, and for a Charlie, you need a mode C transponder. Oh, okay. So that, that two-way communication means that you know, when you call up approach, they say their call sign and your call sign in the same statement. Okay. And remember, uh, 8 to Tango X-Ray, you're entering the Ohio State Class Delta. Unfortunately, the tower's closed this time of night. Radar service is terminated, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, and thanks for the ATC tonight. We'll see you next time. Hey, Tango x -ray. Number 5, Alpha Mike, uh, turn left heading 180, vectors for approach. Left turn 180, five. And I am 40 miles from the airport. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's not that far. No, but it, when you're cruising at 135, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. What plane are you in? I'm in the Ryan B. I, I have it pulled back a little bit. I have the throttles pulled back. I have it leaned out. I have the, the propeller pulled back. I, I, I have mean. you in a TBM. Huh? I mean, I don't think you ever told me the aircraft type. I, I just showed the TBM from your last flight plan. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Well, you are a bit of, yeah, at 135, 40 miles, you're a little chunk of change away, but... Oh. Wait a minute. I don't know. When I logged on back on the VATSIM, it should have been at a, a NAVI, or Nav, NAVI, a, a November Alpha Victor well, see, your old flight plan was still there, but yeah, you oh. might have logged in as, as this new aircraft type. Oh, because I, cl I, I cleared it, and, okay. Oh, interesting. All right. Well... Number if, 37, Victor, remote 28, left your cliff for the option. 37, Victor, 28, left, clear for the option. See, when I fetch it... Oh, when I ahead. fetched it sorry. from the, I'm sorry. When I fetched it from the server, it looked like you changed it. It says my departure air, departure airport was uh, Kilo India Lima November as an IFR destination. I guess because I'm flight following. Uh, well, Kilo, IFR, it's uh, when you see that in VATS, it doesn't really mean anything with CRC. It's no, 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 from no. the altitude. It's VFR and then something. No, I'm looking at V pilot. Wait, if you're looking at V pilot. Yeah. How are you doing you know, that? What? When you five fetch your... Alpha Mike, turn left heading a one zero zero. One zero zero five Alpha Mike. When you fetch your, uh, your, um... Ah, uh, that uh, doesn't even work sometimes. Oh. Uh. Columbus approach November 63, any room with a request? Let's speed up uh, a little go bit. ahead. I'd like to practice another approach for 28 left on the LS. And remember, uh, one eight Romeo, uh, fly uh, present heading, climb maintain a three thousand. And uh, are you able to maintain your own train and obstruction clearance on the climb to three thousand? Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, on the climb to three thousand. 
the climb. Get going here. Current heading. I was having a problem with the auto with the uh, the heading bug. What is going on here? Let's see if I can get this working again here. So this is on heading. That's on heading. Okay. Let's get the heading dialed in. Current heading. One zero. Okay, and let's switch this on. It should work. There we go. Climbing to three thousand. We're almost uh, there. One zero nine. Nice. Watch my vertical speed. One eight Romeo, uh, turn left, heading one uh, one zero. One one zero for one eight Romeo. And that'll be uh, vectors for approach. One one zero. Give her a sauce. Two minutes she speeds up. Zero. Nope. Very little. Not worth it. We'll throw it back. Ooh. We'll propel her back. Clement's approach. One three seven Victor. Request taxi. Charlie Delta. Billionaire. And remember one one three seven Victor. That uh, would be Lane Aviation up there. You can taxi the parking. Of uh, Charlie Delta 5. Oh, God. Woo! I'm starting to do these ILS approaches enough to... to I mean, I'm still... I'm still, uh... Get a bit task saturated, but I'm, I'm getting more and more comfortable with them, so that's good. You are getting better at it. That is good. And this downwind uh, is a nice little easy cruise. I can kind of relax and not worry about being in the pattern for a minute. Just wait, just wait till you get up in a big boy jet and you're going 250 knots in the downwind. <laughs> I know, yeah, right? oh boy, I can't imagine. It zooms by real quick. Right. Yeah, they give you the downwind turn, and before you know it, uh, turn heading whatever for the base. Yeah. And before you know it, you pass your localizer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you did, you forgot to slow down. Or you forgot to put the frequency in or something. Yeah, well, some aircraft are easy. You just click a couple, you hit like two buttons or something like that, boom, yeah, you're established, and it'll just turn yourself on the localizer. Yours truly here likes to fly old aircraft, and you got to hit like ten buttons to get the localizer to establish, and by the time you... Get the localizer established. It uh, bumps you off of it because you get a vector that was like 50 degrees or 60 degrees, and your plane can only do it like a 20 degree establishment. I've had that happen. It's supposed to be 30 wow. degrees. It's supposed to be 30. I know. It's not you, Stu. Uh, I have a pro I had a problem twice with uh, Miami when I did the Miami flyings. They gave me these 90 degree vector Number approaches. Five off on Mike. Uh, turn left, heading three is six is zero. I just want to say thanks again to Roberts Gaming for uh, for the follow tonight. Much appreciated. But uh, my cheat sheet now is uh, I just direct the last waypoint of the um, ILS on the nav uh, for na uh, on your nav, and then um, depending on the setup that you have. Uh, if you have like your traditional 530 or something like that, I just pop that bad boy in the V-lock or something and once I get on my nav course.
Hey, Flox's chat. Should I try and distract Flox with a sound alert whenever he's trying to turn on final? <laughs> That's funny. Oh. I mean, I got 90, 93,000 channel points to to use. There you go. Uh, aircraft, uh, oh, oops. Aircraft calling uh, Columbus, was it uh, 750 X-ray Papa? Affirmative. And uh, you are uh, north of Ohio State? Uh, affirmative for zero X-ray Papa. And over zero X-ray Papa, unfortunately, uh, State Towers closed uh, about an hour ago. Uh, just uh, make sure you're squawking uh, mode Charlie uh, while you're near the uh, Columbus class. Charlie, your finger chain is approved. We'll swap more Charlie and we'll remain outside of Charlie for zero actually Papa things. And number five off of Mike, you're five miles from Buckeye. I turn left heading uh, 250. Maintain 3000 until it stops on the local logical dial. Remotely 28 left approach. 250, 3000, local logical dial. 28 left Number five off of Mike, reduce speed to uh, 180 knots and uh, maintain that until six mile final. Sorry, but the 180 till uh, 6 miles final. Okay. And number 5 off of Mike at this point, I don't think you're going to make the uh, turn to final there. Cancel approach clearance and uh, turn uh, right uh, heading uh, 110. Right there, 110 and number 18 Romeo, turn left heading 010. Zero, 010 zero. Zero, zero for 18 Romeo. <laughs> I'll do the. I'll, that's what I did last time. Turned the wrong. Yeah, he 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 did it a little worse than you did there. He like kept going straight, didn't turn for a bit. I uh I didn't put the. Um, I turned the HSI course instead of the heading bug, and that that threw me off. And remember, uh, Niner Juliet, Mike, let me know. You have the uh, weather at Rickenbach. A uh, sleeve us your mic is stuck or something there. Or you're muted or whatever. We have information alpha, but uh, we've uh, changed the plans. We would like a full stop landing at uh, Glen Columbus, if possible. I remember uh, Niner Juliet Mike, uh, you can expect... Night DH. Expect full stop at uh, Glen Columbus. Oh, good night DH. Uh, Niner Juliet Mike. Number five, Alpha Romeo, turn right, hitting one. Uh, Looking good, Flux. Zero, zero. Getting there. Two, zero, zero. I'm going to pay attention to my course. Uh, one, eight, Romeo. Uh, you're two miles from Buckeye. Turn left, hitting three, one, zero. Make FCW, I just like this plane. Two thousand four hundred seventy-four cleared out. Runway two eight, left approach. Uh, left. And now I'm. I like this maroon trim. Uh, one one more time. Uh, it could be a left uh, two of five zero now, and maintain three thousand until established on the local as a clear to ILS from a uh, two eight left approach. Two five zero will maintain three thousand until established, clear for uh, two eight left. Touch and go. And I'm over flying it again. Yeah, that's why I gave you a different heading, because I knew yep, you were going yep, to. Yep, 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 it's okay. Yeah, it's on me. I'll get her. And remember, 1-8 Romeo, maintain uh, best forward speed until a three-mile final. Uh, we'll maintain best forward speed till three-mile final. Best forward speed, you got it. 
And number five, Alpha Mike, uh, still heading 250 and shut the runway 28 left local. 250. Shit. Hope if I turn it the right way. Watch your language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard. Well, I mean, I've done better with establishing on the localizer in the past. I'm a little bit wonky tonight. It's yeah. part of the yeah, immersion. We need, we need to get you a plane that makes it a little easier than a Piper. Yeah. Yeah, but it's my dad's plane. There's a little bit of a yeah. sentimental. And number five, and Alpha Mike, uh, you That's are seven really miles say. from Buckeye, maintain yeah, 3,000 until established on the local as cleared house from a 2-8 left approach, uh, maintain 180 knots or less until a 6-mile final. Okay, maintain 3,000, 180 on the speed, until a 6-mile final, 2-8 left approach. Yeah, but DH, I, I get that. Flox is going through a, uh, uh, about 10 more steps than, I'm, than I did, because uh, all I did was fly a pattern, like, uh, four, four, one, and he's doing our, our approaches, so there is more an approach. But typically, we already got the two -way uh, communication, correct me so if I'm wrong, SCW, on a long, I mean, typically you're doing a long so. approach, so you, it's not this short stuff, like, you know, so yeah, number 15, 15, 20 miles mic, out, you uh, can start turn doing this right stuff. heading zero or zero eight zero have yeah, it set up. Zero well, Flox is in a tight pattern. Uh, Mike. Best forward speed till three miles out. So another three, another four miles or so. Yeah, and you got to think the localizer distance measurement is from the other end of the runway, so they usually like subtract a mile or something. Okay. Uh, Fox, what are you having an issue with, uh, uh, with the Piper? Oh, no, no, no issue, just, uh, uh, not being ahead of it is all, you know. Remember 1H, Romeo, all the way into Calm, Romeo 28 left, uh, you're clear for the option. 28 left, clear for the option for 1H, Romeo. I think Tree's mic is weighing out. Huh. My mic is what? Is it, it, it sounded like you had a fan in your mic or something? Oh, sorry, my bad. All right, that's, that's actually true. <laughs> I do have a fan right be, behind my head, and I turned it up a little bit, so now I turned it down. So maintaining best forward speed, I kept my gear up until I was on short final. I don't know if that's... I mean, yeah, I said three mile final. Like should, yep. in, in that size of plane, should give you plenty of space yep. to get the gear down and flaps down. Oh, yeah. And if you need to, you do a forward slip where you kind of just put the right or left rudder all the way in, and then and then uh, you have to kind of angle the ailerons, too, to keep it straight. Yep, done that before. But, no, it worked out perfect. I... Um... Got the gear down. I'm uh, getting down to uh, airspeed. So yeah, I maintained the best forward airspeed right, right to the right where I needed to. Gears down. Three in the green. Flaps are set. And remember, Nader Juliet, like the uh, Columbus Airport, Looking good. ten o'clock and seven miles report inside. Looking for a number, Flocks. Oh yeah. Airport inside, uh, Nader Juliet, Mike. And remember, Nader Juliet, Mike, into the left base runway two eight left. Enter left base for seven eight, eight left, uh, is the number. Seven eight. Five alpha mic. Nice call number two eight left. Uh, you're clear for the option. Clear for the option. Two eight left. Five alpha mic. All right. Where is the taxiway? And, and DH, I, I get that too, but that's why we're doing it here over and over. And every week I do this. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but um, less mistakes and more familiarity to where I just know that pattern and. With Navigraph, I know where the heck I am on the airport, the taxiways. Where is the yellow line? I don't have a yellow line here. And there it is. I got it. I got like it. I got right it. Turn right there. I got it. I got it. Right turn or a left turn? 
Yeah, tree went right. Oh, uh, I made left. It's also yeah, where you right, started. It's a right turn. Yeah. I, I went back to. And I remember 1 H Romeo. Say what was it, SCW, not Millionaire? Uh, it sig was. Uh, signature for 1 H Romeo. Yeah, uh, for 1 H Romeo, tax working via Bravo. No, I don't remember now. Uh, signature via Bravo for 1 H Romeo. Well, he wanted to go the other FBO. I guess he just needs some space. Oh, gosh. There's a police car by my plane. I don't know what that means. Let's see here. I swear to God, I don't have any drugs. <laughs> Tree top fire. <laughs> Tree top. Oh, where is that? There it is. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Call the pros. Five zero X-ray Papa requesting IFR to India for tonight. This is gonna be my last. Number seven five zero X-ray Papa, kill. I'm just approach. Stand by one moment. Number nine or Juliet to Mike Wynn, call me. Right, left, but he was taking left. pictures. Your uh, exclusive option. Exclusive option. Uh, not really Mike. All right, uh, number 750 X-ray Papa, uh, you could to the I-69er airport. Uh, well, actually, we need to get you a route there. Not, I don't know if you're really supposed to be going direct to there. Oh, there you are, Flux. Yeah, I just yeah, thought, I just thought I'd get, keep, keep it easy here. That's, Oops. Uh, that's, that's better for you. For, uh, uh, here, I'm making it difficult for myself now. I just thought I'd come over here. Number five, Alpha Mike, fly runway we're heading, uh, maintain 3,000. Runway heading to 3,000, five, Alpha Mike. He's a treetop flyer. I love that song. All right. Make sure. Oh, you're going to park there. Yeah, yeah. I'll just go. Where I parked? I parked. I think you're. I think you're over where we started, maybe, and I, I'm oh, on the opposite different... side. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right, that works. Task saturation hits again. Oh, that's all right. No worries there. All right, let's turn stuff off here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Did I keep my fuel pump on the whole time? I did. Oh my god, guys, I left my fuel pump on the whole time. Come on. There we go. Number five, Alpha Mike, your radar contact say altitude. Uh, we're level 3,005, Alpha Mike. And number five, Alpha Mike, which approach are you going for this time? Can we actually, uh, can we put in a request for the Atlas 9 right at Ohio State for five, Alpha Mike? And number five, Alpha Mike, roger, but uh, I'm pretty sure that will be opposite direction to the flow out there. Okay, that's in radio is off. We're parked. We'll pull up VATSIM here for a second. Let's see, where is it? VATSIM's right there. And we will go ahead and disconnect intentionally instead of waiting until I close the SIM and forgetting. So we closed intentionally. I think that might be a first. Close VATSIM. And thank you, SDW222, man. Well done tonight. Thank you and congratulations. Right? Well done. Yes. Well done. Let's give uh, STW a shout out so you guys can check out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, let's see. Shout out STW222. Uh, we do have information. Juliet would like to request some pattern work for Grumman 10 Whiskey. Number 341, that's your whiskey. Collision alert off your. Nine o'clock at three. I thought I turned off my radio. I did. I wonder why I'm still hearing it. Weird. Um. So I missed uh, DH's uh, uh, comments up above here. 
um, when I was getting task saturation. Uh, he says, thanks for the shout out earlier. And he says that this is why he hasn't got into fat sim. It's a lot to pay attention to. And that's exactly yeah. why we're taking it slow. We're still in the pattern after months. Um, yeah. You know, just, you know, we're having fun and we're learning and it's all good. And hopefully people will come on board, you know, get on the radio with us. He says his brain would explode. <laughs> uh, his problem would be with a lot of different instructions. Tough to take it all in. And that's what's happening to me is, is I'm getting behind the aircraft. And so when the instructions come in, I'm spinning uh, to get caught up. And so, yeah, I got to practice on staying ahead of the aircraft. And he says he's off and salute. Yeah, good night, DH. Thanks for popping in tonight. Good night, DH. Uh, oh, Splasher. thanks, Splasher. Yeah, yeah nice. go ahead. Uh, Splasher says, great stream, flocks and tree, and SDW kept me company doing some B-17 mission research. Awesome, dude. Can't wait for those B-17s to be coming into uh, into uh, into the sim, man. This is going to be so much fun. Like, I'm going to be on your wing, man, either in another B-17 or an escort or something. It's going to be a blast. And yep. here is a shout out for Splasher Six as well. Great friend of the channel here, long yes. time friend. There we go. This is uh, this is kind of picture. they have a real simple booth, uh, and there is the one and only Factual Gull. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the flight at Sim Expo. She was so nice, and uh, I. Um, I thanked her. Yeah, it's great meeting these people. Oh, you're welcome, Splasher. Sure yeah. All welcome. right. Sleeveless, well played tonight. Yeah, Thank very you. well played. And I'm not going to be able to join you guys next week, but I'll be back at work. Uh, I had a class this morning, so uh, I got the day off. But, um, uh, yeah, guys, you guys are good enough to do this. You could do what I do. <laughs> well, well true. You're, you're right. You're there. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Well, Tree, what'd, yeah. you, what'd you say earlier about Rickenbacker next week? Well, yeah, I'd like to do Rickenbacker next week. So we'll go out of the pattern, go yeah. to Rickenbacker, and come back in the pattern. I essentially did that today. <laughs> yeah, you you're, did. That's kind of haphazard, but yeah, you talk about task saturation when you're trying to get your engine started and you don't have any altitude. Oh, my God. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I I agree, sleeveless. We'll get there. Yeah, I think and, uh, I think you're right there. Lots of fun, and just gosh, I sure enjoy every one of these nights. Just just uh, being together and and doing this the thing that we all love. Sure, yep. fun. And somebody else is in hog heaven there with you, bud. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, kayak Kevin. Hog heaven, yep, it is. Hog heaven right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Good stuff. Oh. All right, we will look for somebody to raid. I'll get some credits going. Tree, man, nice job tonight. I mean, you handled the emergency like a pro, man. <laughs> well, thank you. It was uh, it, that was a nice added surprise, I guess, uh, Ron. And uh, anyway, yeah, good fun, and thank you, Flox, and Great job doing the approaches and STW. Thanks for helping us and sleeveless being along with us. Yep. And uh, yeah, just grateful to everybody here. Thank you. And Roberts Gaming, thanks for the follow. Oh, something else I wanted to announce. Um, in the uh, Twitch channel, if you guys take a look, let me. Uh, can I pull it up here? Let me see if I can pull it up here. Can I pull it up? I should be able to. Uh, there's that. See if it pulls it up. See if it pulls okay. it up. Get it, and we'll bring this over. No, I can do it on the left screen. All right, here we go. Check this out, tree. So, you know, we where we've we been saying all the subs and the cheers and the bits are going to be going towards tree. Uh oh, just a bit of a trip down south, I think. Right. So if I scroll down here a little bit, you'll notice that uh, this has been up here for a couple weeks now. FS Expo 2024 bust. Um, I'm happy to say I was able to update this today because we got a we got a, a payment that came in from Twitch. 
And so this used to say $10 out of our goal of 2000 It now says $110. Oh, nice. Huh? <laughs> hey, nice. It's creeping We're well on our to, way. It's creeping up towards that goal. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so looking forward to that. And uh, I know Flox is too. And, and as many of you guys can get down there uh, that we can be together, that'll be just great and and we know Chucky lives down there. My sister lives down there too, so I'll probably pay a visit to her. But mostly, uh, besides seeing her at a flight sim and and seeing you guys in person, that's just going to be so great, right? Yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, so with, with that, let's uh, let's go ahead and read off to some. Excuse me, to somebody. Thanks again, SDW two two two. Thanks to Sleevis for being on voice with us tonight and up in the pattern. And uh, Tree, we'll see ya. Splasher, we'll see ya. Uh, Good night, chat. We'll see ya. Fly safe. Bye, everyone. Bye, Splasher.